previously I was misdiagnosed with an appendicitis and rejected from my first choice university until I called back for feedback and <laughs> you would never guess he found one more place for me which is literally the story of my life NEVER GIVE UP at the end of college, to celebrate me and my mates coming of age, we took a week break to Zanti, a Greek party island. There was one girl I started to talk to on the charter plane I met later on the party strip. With loads of alcohol, I mean, I romantically fell in love with Josie. Apart from realising the fact that she had a boyfriend back home in Watford, I somehow ended up sleeping outside her apartment, waking up to insect bites all over me. A little crazy, but that alcohol made me the most ill I have been since diagnosis. The next six months and the beginning of uni were a long bad dream. So much pain I couldn't walk straight or sit without keeling over. My severe anemia required at least three hours naps during the day to just make it through. Painkillers such as paracetamol, tramadol became a norm Meal replacement shakes took over what once used to be food. I started uni like five steps back. I would have loved to have done more societies, but having to pass on alcohol really didn't help. Like guys, I wanted to live. Wouldn't you? Considering engineering is so intense, I really became disillusioned in my course considering my health. And I ended up doing a very un-engineering like summer, working at Primark Sports Direct. But with that money, I bought my first DSLR camera, Nikon D3100. With this, I started my blog, mattsallotment.wordpress.com, and shot my first YouTube video planting strawberries on my allotment. It's so hilarious, looking back. I had my first meaningful relationship with a girl that laid the foundations for who I am now. But that summer, Celia found a few student exchange weeks and I remember exploring the Balkans, making loads of friends from around the world. A really eye-opening experience. You see, because of Crohn's, I never travelled before. In spirit, really born again. With Joanna in Serbia, she gave me the idea to get a military dog tag. I engraved my name, date of birth, and the word born again in Serbian. This is the basis for the name behind born again, Matt. This is when I realised it's all in my hands, my health, my friends, fresh ideas, aside from my parents' conservative dribble. That really inspired me. On this note, inspired by a fellow former crony, vegan, cyclist, Duran rider, I dived into my overdraft and bought the Ferrari of bikes, my Carrera road bike, which I cycled into uni, 20 mile round trips a day, but without proper levels of haemoglobin or iron, I soon burn out into another flare. Poor nutrition equals poor gains. I remember that summer of 2012. Celia got a really bad cold, but I wanted to just be around so she'd get better. But because I was on another immunosuppressive drug, Humira, I happened to catch her cold. And for six months on and off, I was on antibiotics. This, as my mum says, turned me into a walking zombie. We broke up, and how I saw it was that with my health, it just wasn't time for me. After our breakup, I was like, is this going to happen to me again, or am I going to do something about it? And then my various diets and tests started promptly. Gluten-free, Atkins, Primal, vegan, juice fasting, etc. It's clear to me now that we are in control of our own destinies. And on that note, I quit Humira, a drug with a list of side effects such as severe forms of cancers, among other things. Eating and training is much more enjoyable. But you shouldn't change your diet overnight, at least with Crohn's you shouldn't. It's suggested 
everywhere that you just keep a food diary and change one food at a time then stay disciplined to follow through with it and the secret to working out is just feeling like you wanna like the main thing is to have no cramping because that will stop anyone and to have half at least half normal energy levels yeah tune in for episode three next time Love a Granny Smith apple. It's almost like toothpaste. It kind of just cleans the mouth. I've been asking for a while is I'd love people to intro my videos any way you can think of. I'd love to put in. Come on guys, let's be creative. Cre creative. I'm going to go back to my apple. I, I did think for now.